How were you able to go so fast? The thing about driving is that a lot of people think that you just sit in the car and turn the steering and you're fast, you know, yeah. but there's a lot more skill to it. How you use your braking technique, your steering technique. We are taught and we practice when the car goes out of control okay. so that we know what to do, like maybe a counter steer or the way we apply the brakes or right. accelerate. But you need to be taught those things. Doing my basic driving theory and practical driving and getting my license does not equip me with any of those skills, right? Exactly. When you're talking about going past a certain speed, it requires a whole different kind of training. This is a normal chest x-ray of, mm -hmm. of an accident victim who was in a, high, in a low, relatively low speed injury. Okay. He was discharged within 24-48 hours. The patient on this side had to be intubated or had to be ventilated immediately yeah. upon arrival because he was involved in a high speed crash. Okay, all that white stuff. This white stuff is actually blood within the chest Ooh. cavity. You can see that we have got chest tubes inside trying to drain out the blood. Did he survive? Yeah, he survived but of course the recovery time took longer. He stayed mm -hmm. in ICU for several days. The solid organs within the abdomen, such as the liver, the spleen, or even sometimes the intestines, they can be torn if we were to take a box of soft tofu and you go shake it like that. And when you okay. open the tofu, look at the state of the tofu, that's exactly what's happening to the liver. The solid organs are like the tofu within that box. It just goes and does that and just tears. This is a picture of us opening up the patient. We're heading to stop the bleeding from the, okay. from the liver. The seat belt is, does save you because yeah. without the seat belt, you may have smashed right against the windscreen yeah. and might not even be making it to the hospital. However, if you're going to travel at very, very high speeds, right, and you are going to crash the vehicle, right, the speed will now essentially render the safety devices not really very useful to you. 